Hey everyone, Nicole Connor here, co-coach of Story Cell Training Program, and I'm really excited to be interviewing one of my all-time favorite students, Dennis McKenzie. So welcome, Dennis. Thanks so much for being on with me tonight. Hi, Nicole. Glad to be here. <laughs> As always, we always have such a great conversation. We've always had a good time chatting and learning from each other. It's so exciting to have you a part of this class because of your energy and how just um, authentic you are to who you are and your genuine posts um, on stories. I just so appreciate that about you and all of the wonderful comments you brought to our reveals and uh, just your energy. I just love that about you. So uh, we'll just get started on the interview and just tell me a little bit about why you decided to take the story cell class. Okay, thank you that for all the kind comments. I appreciate that. Um, I think that the reason why I wanted to take the stories class is because of the wanting to have a, a, a stronger presence um, online with social media. I know that Instagram is one of Cat's uh, 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 crazy cats. It's one of her things that she really enjoys doing along with the Facebook. I haven't gotten into the Instagram quite as much, but gosh, just with the Facebook alone and learning what to do in, in that realm. But the question was, why did I do it? Well, the, the line goes, facts tell and stories sell. Right. So this is for people really that, yeah, you could do this and learn a whole lot and not be doing a business online, but for people that want to do business online, if you can take that concept that you can know everything that you know about your business, whatever that business is, brick and mortar, whatever. But when you've got an incredible story about, about what you, your product or your service or whatever that, when you've got an incredible story to tell about that, that's when people get intrigued. And this stories class is what I wanted to find out about. And, and that's exactly what it was, is that facts tell, stories sell. And this class <laughs> helps you learn to do that. Yeah, it sure does. And what's really fun about it, and, and you can elaborate a little bit, is what it's like to be a part of this class as a community of people putting out content as a team. And what that's like, as opposed to learning a new skill and being out there on your own and not getting any feedback. So tell us a little bit about your experience working with the team of people and the, the shared content that we're doing each week. What sure. was for you? Sure. Well, the, the, first of all, the people that you uh, collaborate with, that you enjoy um, showing up with on a Monday evening, whenever you all get back together for what you call reveal. And, I don't, and again, I don't want to reveal too much of your reveal, but um, mm -hmm. but when you get together and you share. Uh, what you've learned over a particular subject matter that has been chosen for that particular week and that you make stories um, of, of what you've created over that particular week, that's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Not only do you learn uh, the, in the process, um, it's, it's not just simply uh, clicking on um, Facebook and, or Instagram. Well, one of the things that I really think about that, um, Nicole, is that – whenever we're creating these stories and we're working with each other as a group, the people that are in your class, it, it's kind of like a little mini family. I mean, you get to know each other through your stories. You kind of yeah. can almost, you can almost predict, but not really. Um, and what's kind of fun is that somebody may post something and you're just, your creativeness is just not there today. And somebody may post something that just, sparks your creative juices and you're going wow i'm glad that they posted that it may not be the same thing but it kind of gets you rolling you know right right well and it's the momentum that's created with that group of people that are really working together on a theme and we don't really reveal what's going to be um what our inspiration is and then we come together as a class and this is one of the things i appreciate about appreciated so much about your posts is they were extremely thoughtful about the theme that we were talking about, but you're also to be able to work in the things that are important to you, family, God, your business, your product, your, you know, what's really driving you every day to, to be your best self as it relates to these themes. And 
I so appreciated what you brought to the reveal. So tell us a little bit about what that was like. I, I think that what that's like is that the first thing I would say about reveal is some people are a little bit intimidated about uh, knowing that they're going to be live. Don't let that intimidate you. My goodness, that was so much fun. It was uh, really encouraging to have a subject matter. And then the question would be, what did that mean to you, that, that particular word or that subject over the course of the week? And you had an opportunity not only to share uh, kind of what that meant to you, but you got to hear all of these people that you're in class with. And it, boy, I tell you what, it, 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 it gets people down to where they're real with each other and it's really neat to listen to each and everyone's personality that comes out in that reveal and i mean there's not a bad apple in the whole bunch they're they're just great <laughs> all right and what's really fun is that we are supporting each other throughout that class is that those students are also supporting your efforts to get your stories out there and seen so you're not just posting hoping that someone's going to like it share it enjoy it get feedback on it is that the students in the class and the more students, the merrier um, that are helping you to build your online, online content. So I appreciate that you said that. And, and my, I have two more questions. And the second, the next one is, um, what did you think about having four coaches and the content over the 12 weeks? That's a good question. Um, I'm glad you asked that question. I have an answer. <laughs> One of the things that uh, <laughs> that was a was a word or a thought for one of the weeks, and it was just uh, recently, and that was it was called quality. And <clears throat> in the reveal, we were asked about what that word meant to us. Well, one of the things that I said about quality and what it meant to me is I thought of. My, my glass is always half full. It's never half empty. And I think of its quality is the best of the best. Well, I believe that with Kibi Whitehead and with Nicole Connor and Noelle Upchurch and Crazy Cat Mac, those, you, four, you four ladies are quality people. You're the best of the best. You've taken the time to make this material and it's not just thrown together. This is stuff that if, if you watch these videos and you print out the materials that go with this class and you follow these things according to the way that you guys instruct everyone to for Facebook and Instagram, you check out the apps that you recommend and most of them are free. If you're not creative, you don't have to be because some of these apps that you guys recommend helps you to be creative. So all of that in a package put together with four of you guys and each one of us has a personal coach with one of you four. And if you're not around, somebody else takes up the, the charge. But uh, having, having you available on a chat, a personal chat, having you available on a group chat, and just knowing that there's not a question that is too silly that you guys won't answer. So, uh, I guess that's my best plug of all is that uh, it's, it's money well spent. And you're going to learn a lot. Awesome. And I'm so glad that you, you've managed to like, despite your busy schedule, that you've managed to fit in learning all these skills and that you'll have an opportunity to practice them because you get to keep all the material, which is amazing. So my last question, and I so appreciate your time, Dennis, um, would you recommend stories and why? I would absolutely recommend stories. <clears throat> and you just mentioned that, I, I am extremely busy right now, and um, I have very little time to spread out, but yet I was determined to go ahead and watch my videos, do my homework, print out print out the, the PDFs and the things that I needed to do, and just try to stay with you guys, do my stories, and I'm so glad that I did. You, even, even if you're a busy person, you can do this, and um, my takeaway from this, and I shared this with you earlier, is that I didn't have a very big presence online. And um, by doing the stories sell class, um, 
on average, once I started doing the stories and I learned how to track and measure and I learned how to see how many people were, were looking in, at my stories, I was, I told Nicole that I was probably averaging somewhere around 80, 90 views on my stories. And I did a silly one that I just thought was kind of crazy. And there was 371 views on that story. And I'm going, wow, this stuff works. So anyway, it, it works. And I re highly recommend it. Awesome. Thank you, Dennis, so much. And for those of you watching, if you have any questions or want more information from Dennis, please go ahead and reach out to him. Thanks, Dennis. Have Hello. a good evening. You too.